Welcome back to Lambeau Field, everybody. As I mentioned earlier, the tundra is frozen. By this time next week, it'll be really, really, really frozen. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. We're actually going to warm up a little bit tomorrow. We're going to see highs getting up into the lower and mid 30s. That's ahead and along a cold front that's going to move through northeast Wisconsin. Behind that cold front, we will cool down once again as we head through the weekend. Highs back down into the lower and mid 20s. A little warm up on Sunday as a snowy system moves across the state and then turning frigid. Yes, frigid as we head into next week. Right now, we are looking at temperatures that are in the 20s. This is the first day this early winter season that we've had high temperatures only in the 20s here in northeast Wisconsin. Currently in the valley, we are looking at 23 degrees with west winds at around 16 miles per hour. Earlier today, those winds were gusting close to 40 miles per hour. Right now, they're gusting over 20 miles per hour in Green Bay. So we're looking at wind chills that are currently sitting in the teens across most of the viewing area, although it does feel like one degree <laughs> above zero right now in Antigo. And most of us will see those wind chills drop down into the single digits here as we head through the next several hours. Storm Shield radar showing quiet conditions across the area, although we've had a few flurries from time to time. We'll keep that chance of a flurry in the forecast throughout the night. Up to the north, however, across southwestern Ontario, we have some snow showers. And those snow showers are in association with our next weather maker. It's a cold front that's going to be dropping through northeast Wisconsin as we head through tomorrow, reinforcing the cold air that we're currently seeing. High temperatures today were mainly in the mid to upper 20s across central and eastern Wisconsin, which means today was not the 16th straight day with above normal high temperatures, but tomorrow will be above normal once again. Our normal high is 31. As that front moves through, we're going to have a gusty northwest wind across the area. And whoa, the chroma key is taken off here. <laughs> As I mentioned, it's windy. That northwest wind is going to actually downslope off the Northwoods and warm us up a little bit. That's something that happens here quite often across uh, the NBC 26 viewing areas. I hold on to the chroma key. We don't want to take it off across the field here. Skycast shows that chance for a couple of snow showers tomorrow as the cold front moves through and then quiet conditions for Friday and Saturday. But that'll change Saturday night into Sunday. We're going to be looking at a stronger system moving from the west and that will produce accumulating snow across the area on Sunday. Right now, significant accumulations appear likely. There's going to be more than enough to shovel or snow blow or snow plow. And then behind that, we're going to see frigid air drop into the state as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, and possibly Thursday. The timing of when the coldest air is going to arrive still kind of up in the air. It is a fluid forecast, so tune back uh, later on as we get closer to the event. So tonight, windy and a few flurries. Overnight, low temperatures around 20. Tomorrow, windy and warmer. Actually getting above freezing, we'll have the chance for a couple of snow showers as well. If we get a heavier snow shower, well, there could be a minor accumulation. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 34. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we'll donate $100 to a spear We did that today. I forecast an early morning high of 28. That early morning high was actually 29. I have now hit 33 of the last 34 three degree guarantee forecast. So as we head into the weekend, we can expect quiet weather on Friday and Saturday. Saturday night though, into Sunday, Accumulating snow, the snow can actually fall heavily at times. And then as we head into next week, with lots of fresh snow on the ground and a huge Arctic air mass plunging in from the north, we're going to be looking at frigid conditions with high temperatures only in the single digits. Back to you, Megan, from Windy Lambeau Field.